This video was made for the sole purpose of entertainment and is not in any way promoting the items in the video. A review is not promoting, and if you don't find the entertainment in this video, then that's up to you, but you can kiss my ass. Alright guys, before the video begins, I just want to say- Alright, 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 cut that out. I know a lot of people got on me because I've been using that intro for a long time. If you didn't know, this is a moderately new channel, but still newer than my last channel. But nevertheless, if you're not subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel, press the bell next to it so you get a notification every time I drop a new video. And in the words of my grandpa. Subscribe, bitch! Yeah! 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 yeah. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Hey, man. What's up? What's wrong? Oh, man. I was just trying to get the new Kyrie 4 cereal pack. Sold out. Everywhere. And I can't afford it. It's too expensive. Damn, man. Well, I got something for you. Enriched brand flakes? You mean the unreleased Kyrie cereal pack. What are you talking about? Man, just open the box. <laughs> These the enriched brand flake Kyrie's? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to test these out. Oh, they're from Wish, but I already know you like Wish. You're a smart man. You're a smart man. Everybody, we are back with another video of me stripping butt ass naked. Oh, uh, are we not doing that today? That that's on Wednesday. Oh, uh. we're back with another Wish sneaker video. I know I do Wish a lot, but people seem to like them a lot. So as long as y'all keep liking them, I'ma keep doing them. And shoot, if you start hating them. I'm still probably going to do them. And today is the third testing cheap basketball sneakers from Wish. And I get a lot of requests for doing LeBron, Hardens, Kyrie's. And today's episode is the Kyrie. Honestly, when I was choosing which one to do, I just picked Kyrie because I like them more than LeBron. These are called the Men's Casual Shoes High Top Sneakers Basketball Shoes. For those who actually didn't think these were the Men's Casual Shoes High Top Sneakers Basketball Shoes. Actually, these are the limited edition unreleased cereal pack collab collaboration with enriched Bran Flakes. Why risk increased blood sugar levels when you can eat enriched Bran Flakes and increase your iron levels for you anemic people like your boy? Here we go. Let's get into the video. What am I doing with my hands? Here we go! As always, before we start, remember to subscribe to the channel, press the bell button next to the subscribe button so you get a notification every time I drop a new video, especially the ones of me stripping naked. Damn it, I keep forgetting that's not that video. Hey, edit that out. But for real, follow me on Instagram at Evan Yee. Now Mario. Here we go. Starting off with the looks and the initial thoughts of the shoe. All right, first things first, it came in paper and bubble wrap per usual. If you want to see what those look like, go watch my other Wish videos. All the bubble paper wrap to your heart's content in those videos if you want to check that out. I have a dream that one day Wish will send me a package in a box. Because if you see it, it came all distorted and bent out of shape like a Las Vegas prostitute. When I took this shoe out of the packaging, the first scent that came to me was of a 1994 Honda Odyssey minivan mixed with an old person's house with enriched brand flakes, of course, mixed with cigarettes. Yum. 
course, what stands out about this shoe is the sun in the upper. Hey, I call it sun because it shines like one. It kind of reminds me of Gullah Gullah Island for those of you who are old like me. Mixed with a little bit of Mario sunshine, maybe some ancient Aztec hieroglyphics. It's got the lightning bolt in the forefoot like a lot of my other Wish sneakers. Now comparing these with the real deal Kyrie 4, you can see that the shark teeth don't extend past the midsole, so it's like baby teeth. Whereas the Kyrie 4, you can see that the shark teeth go above the midsole. The outsole is part gum bottom, which kind of looks like a, like a, what's that really trash candy people be getting on Halloween that nobody likes? You know, with the white thing in the middle? Licorice? Pistachio? Oh, it's that caramel thing with the cow on it. I, th I think it's a cow. So with all that being said and being considered, I officially dubbed these the Gullah Gullah Mario Prepubescent Aztec Bird Shark that smoked cigarettes in a 1994 Honda Odyssey while eating trash caramel candy Kyrie Fives and Rich Brand Flakes edition. Moving on to the size and the comfort. Size wise, they fit and I'm shook. And the comfort is not even bad. What the f The cushioning on these aren't that great. The ankle area does have a fair amount of cush. Hold up. And then cushion it. Its bounce is pretty good and it's breathable. And holding them side by side, it is more lightweight than the Kyrie 4. That's to be expected because the materials aren't as good as the real Kyrie 4, but we'll get into that later. Moving on to the traction of the shoe. Traction is actually decent. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. <laughs> like the red part, sucks and it's slippery but the caramel part actually feels like real gum bottom and it sticks call it cum bottom <laughs> y'all are really good at this so i'm gonna let y'all comment in the comment section which shoe did this sneaker take the traction pattern from <laughs> hey for reference the top gum bottom kind of looks like two titties Oh, grow up. Something bad about the shoe is due up. I'm waiting for it. Moving on to the materials of the shoe. The upper is a thin knit material. Rubber midsole. Obviously no real zoom air like the real Kyrie's. And if these did have zoom air then... And these are more lightweight and breathable. It does have lightning bolt technology, so you know when you touch other players. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not like that, grow up. When you come in contact with other players, you shock them. Like when you're a kid going down one of those tube slides and then you touch one of the metal parts at the bottom. Worst part of my childhood, TBH. It just smells like cigarettes. So maybe it's made out of recycled cigarettes. Moving on to the support and lockdown. And it's pretty good, kind of like having a stepdad that supports you. Not the real dad, but he does the job. And the lockdown isn't that bad either with the shoe actually fitting, which is a first in testing cheap basketball shoes from Wish history. And the ankle area fits snug with the ankle padding. It's pretty thick, so of course you gotta say is Team Chunky? Team Big Bounded? Hell no, nah. Team Thick. For the price, these are $24. Which retail on Wish for $140. For a recap, it's actually not bad for a Wish shoe. What the hell? I mean, it does smell bad, like your neighbor Gertrude, who's been smoking cigs for the last 40 years, who lives alone and talks to herself. What? What did he say? No shade to Gertrude, but you know, they, they smell like Gertrude. Materials aren't really durable, but compared to my other Wish shoes, they're not bad. So if I were to rank the Wish shoes that I've gotten and tested, these would be at the top of the list. Brain <coughs> flakes, baby, and cigarettes. 